Church of Scientology is facing the prospect of back pay claims that, on some estimates, could run into millions of dollars. Lateline has obtained a draft copy of the Fair Work Ombudsman's report into the Church of Scientology, an investigation that shows some workers were getting paid as little as $10 a week. The draft report contains allegations of false imprisonment and forced labour. A former chief spokesman for the church in the United States has also told Lateline the Ombudsman's report could have international ramifications. Steve Kinane has this exclusive report. In March last year, the ABC's Four Corners broadcast a program that could end up costing the Church of Scientology millions of dollars. I stayed up 72 hours once, just trying to get someone approved to go auditor training overseas. 72 hours without sleep. Mm. And you were 15 at the mm. time. The next day, the Fair Work Ombudsman started an investigation into the Church of Scientology. Lateline has obtained a draft copy of that report. It contains explosive allegations made by former staff members of forced imprisonment and enslavement. The allegations may potentially be a breach of the provisions of the Criminal Code Act 1995 dealing with slavery. The Fair Work Ombudsman will refer the witnesses' allegations to the relevant authority for further investigation. The Fair Work draft report also found that members of the church's Elite C organisation are paid as little as $10 a week, despite working long hours seven days a week. The Church of Scientology argued that C organisation members were not covered by the Fair Work Act because they were in holy orders. But this was rejected in the draft report. This is not a persuasive view and is not consistent with the law. The Church of Scientology argues all their religious work is done by volunteers. But the draft findings say... It is likely the Church of Scientology has incorrectly classified as volunteers or voluntary workers people who are entitled to be classified as employees. That means many current and former workers could be owed large amounts of back pay. In the draft report, the Ombudsman insists the Church of Scientology appoint an independent consultant who will review its records so they comply with employment laws and awards. Mike Rinder is a former chief spokesman for the Church of Scientology in the US. He says the report's findings could have worldwide ramifications. I think that a bunch of, of governments, in, particularly in Europe and probably in the Commonwealth, will follow in the footsteps of the Australian Fair Work Ombudsman and begin their own investigations and reviews. Last year, Lateline spoke to Jeanette Lang, one of the complainants to the Fair Work Ombudsman. Some weeks it might be $20, other weeks $2. It would average around between two to $3,000 a year. So these are two of the group certificates from two of the years that I was there. So this one's from 1999, where I earned $740. And this was my big one, which is why I pulled this one out. This was in 2001, where I earned $3,114. But Jeanette Lang won't be able to recover any back pay under the Fair Work Act. Her case does not fall inside the six-year statutory time limit. While the draft report reveals how little Scientology staff are paid, it also shines a light on how much the Church of Scientology makes. The Church argues they're a religious organisation with no retail, commercial or wholesale interests. But the Fair Work draft report reveals that in 2009, one of the Church's entities held assets of over $49 million and in that same year made over $17.9 million. Of that figure, $11.5 million was made from spiritual counselling and religious training. The draft report says these courses can cost tens of thousands of dollars. Documentary evidence obtained includes provision of an advance program to assist a Scientology member progress up the bridge at a cost in excess of $65,000. Mike Rinder believes the Church of Scientology will fight the Fair Work Ombudsman's findings. I think that they would challenge it in court. I think concurrently they will probably start new uh, corporations or companies to house the activities and see if they can't start afresh. Two days after the draft findings were given to interested parties, the Church of Scientology applied to ASIC 
to register a new company name. The Church of Scientology released a statement tonight saying... The suggestion that the change in registration was designed to circumvent any negative findings against the church by the Fair Work Ombudsman is outrageous, wrong and defamatory. And in a general response to our story said... It is quite unfair, outrageous and highly unethical for any analysis of such draft findings to take place when they are not the final decision of the regulatory authority. The final report is due to be released later this week. The Fair Work Ombudsman notes the final statement of findings is likely to differ substantially from the initial draft. Steve Kinane, Late Line. And the full statements from the Fair Work Ombudsman and the Church of Scientology, which we were mentioned in the story, will be posted on our website.